Hello everyone. Welcome to Learn and Share. We're doing problem solving strategies and this one is solve a simpler problem. Solve a simpler problem strategy. So here are the steps to apply this strategy. Step one, break apart or change the problem into ones that are easier to solve. Step two, solve the simpler problems. Step three, use the answers to the simpler problems to solve the original problem. Here is our problem to help us understand the strategy. How many squares are there in the picture? And so here's our picture. Do you want to try it yourself? Feel free to pause the video and try it yourself. Do you want to see who how I solved it? I solved it in a step-by-step -step way. Let's see it. Step one, break apart or change the problem into ones that are easier to solve. So we'll be breaking apart this picture into squares with sides of one unit, which looks like that. Squares with sides of two units, which looks like this, and squares with sides of three units, which looks like this. Step two, solve the simpler problems. So we'll be starting with the so squares with sides of one unit. And here is our model. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Number of one unit squares equals nine. Now we'll be starting with squares with the sides of two units which looks like this. And here is our model again. One, two, three, and four. Number of two unit squares equals four. Now we'll be doing squares with sides of three units. And here is our model. And there is one square with sides of three units. Number of three unit squares equals one. Step three, use the answers to the simpler problems to solve the original problem. So how many squares are in the picture? Squares with one with size of one unit equals nine. Squares with sides of two units equals four. Squares with sides of three units equals one. Number of squares in the picture equals nine plus four plus one equals 14. Yay, we solved the problem. Coming up is a fun part and that is, make your own word problem. Here's a tip. Just like in this problem, we divided the bigger square into smaller squares. You can draw bigger shapes and draw smaller shapes in it. Then you can count all the shapes. Here's an example. Count the number of triangles in this picture. So easy to make your own word problems. For more word problems, click the link in the description box below. Hope you liked my video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you. Bye.